Hey there, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life. And in today's video, I'm doing my best of 2018 products. So I love these videos and I know you love these videos because I didn't do one last year and you guys made so many comments requesting that I do one and time just got away from me. So I wanted to make sure to do it this year. And like I said, I love watching these too. So I know that there are a number of ways that people do them. And I've actually, I think, done them a few ways myself. But the way I'm gonna do it this year is mainly going to share things that I discovered this year and really make me feel a lot of joy. So I'm not really gonna be talking about products that still give me joy that I've been using for years and years and years, but mainly focusing on the new stuff. I have eight categories. <laughs> so uh, grab yourself a snack and a beverage and uh, get comfortable to hang out with me for a little bit here because this is not gonna be short. So 2018 for me, um, if you guys have been following along on Instagram, it kind of started off really rough. And around May or June, I decided that I needed to put myself and my mental health first. And I really went on this journey to become a more positive-minded person. And I have to tell you, it's the best thing that I've ever done. In my life and i would highly recommend all sorts of things so towards the end i'm going to be talking about books and podcasts and stuff like that but if you guys haven't heard me talk about this head over to my instagram um and i just recently posted a challenge with my friend caitlin called the renew and refresh challenge so you can do a little bit of this mindset work yourself for the new year over there other amazing things that happened this year is i finally felt like i got myself back my body back i did a lot of things different with my fitness to really get in i would say probably the best shape of my life if not then real close to it so we're going to be talking about that as well and then in terms of laura's natural life i launched dwelling your dwelling which is a huge course all about creating a non-toxic home and it actually will be launching again here on the 12th so head over to laurasnaturallife.com if you're interested in that and then um we did the girl gang hang on patreon for a couple of months which was super super fun while it lasted and i made some amazing friendships and i know other women in the group made amazing friendships too so while it wasn't a long-term fit for laura's natural life it was amazing while it lasted so uh let's get into the actual products First, we're gonna do skincare. So I'm hesitant to share one product for this category because it's kind of general. I've been really enjoying getting back into using acids on my face in the past couple of months. And I have yet to find one that I like really, 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 truly think is the one for me, but I'll share what I've been using. Of course, you know I've used the Juice Beauty Peel forever. That's my favorite treatment chemical exfoliant. 100% recommend it. I use the sensitive one, but the ones I but that's more of like a weekly, bi-weekly uh, treatment. So these are everyday ones. This is the Jane Scrivener ex. What is it? Ex Skinfoliate. I wanted to say exfoliate, but that's not her. A skinfoliate. Um, this is a liquid that you put on like a cotton pad and use at night. And then this is the herbivore prism and this is more of like a serum and i quite like both of them for a different reason this one is aha and bha this one is just ahas double check me on that but um this one feels more tingly and this one has aloe in it so it's more moisturizing so depending on what your skin is like either of these could be a fit for you i have a third one that i haven't started trying yet so I don't want to make a final conclusion on my favorite acid yet. Next up for skin is the Olivia body wash. I just brought down my little sample size, which is actually in my empties bin because um, I didn't want to get the big one out of my shower. But you know, I've used Olivia cleanser for my face forever, <laughs> like years and years and years. And it's the best. It's like the most exquisite basic. Um, it is like the perfect white t-shirt, but for your face. And so I thought I'd try the body cleanser and it's the same. It's amazing. Um, I use this on Elliot too. So it's great for kids as well. Um, and it is just full of really great prebiotics to help your skin microbiome. 
Also in skincare, let's talk about your lip skin. So this was the year of lip serums. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never heard of a lip serum before this year, but they've been around apparently. Um, I actually just got this for Christmas, so it's kind of squeaking in there at the last minute, but it's the Yuli Cellular Lip Conditioner. And I think it is fantastic. It's just like an extra boost if you live in a dry climate, you have really dry lips. I feel like there's hair across my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but so I like to do this first and then a lip balm and it really really helps next up for the face is an SPF that is it is white but it goes on clear I talked about this in my SPF video um, it's unscented it's SPF 18 and it is the Ursa major force field daily defense lotion highly recommend this it's definitely a unisex product like I can get my husband to use this in the summer totally love this sunscreen all right and last in skincare these could probably go in another category too and it's a little bit of a cheat because it's not totally new but it kind of is so bear with me but it's the flourish body hair minis so they have this little mini bar and you can try their different products for less they still come in like amazing glass packaging um, of course you know the honey blossom and marshmallow root is my favorite and I got a mini of the body cream which is my go-to dry hand cream it is the most intensely nourishing thing ever and I love that their scents are made they're still scented naturally safely but they're really scented for sensitive people in mind which is so hard to find and I got this one which is I took the label off, but I want to say it's the, I know it's the lavender mint, but it is a hair serum, smoothing serum. Like, I think it maybe has trumped the honey blossom and marshmallow for me. You'd think lavender mint would be generic. This is not generic. It is probably the best smelling thing I've ever smelled, maybe. It's definitely in the top three. They do hair, they do body, um, these are their rosewood glossing drops for hair, so really this kind of cross two categories, but check out their minis um, if you wanted to try them and not pay full price prices. So, moving on to makeup, obviously we're going to start with lips. So what is on my lips right now is this Cloven Hollow Lip Velvet, so this is the cleanest if you're a purist 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 you probably won't like it but for this type of product this is the cleanest one that i found that performs it is basically a matte lip cream matte lipstick matte lip stain how however you want to word that velvet if you will um it really does feel velvety going on once it is set it does feel like a matte product um, it doesn't feel super drying, but you can tell that it's on your lips. Let me tell you, this is the shade Road Trip. It is the most perfect neon pink uh, for, I would say, brunettes. I, when my hair is lighter, I can get away with a lot of different shades of pink. When my hair is darker, I can't. Um, and so I am so thrilled that I found a bright pink that works when I have my mo more natural hair color. and. Guys, I wore this to a wedding. I, I like really risked it. I hadn't worn this yet. I really put a lot of faith in this product. Thank God it came through. I literally put it on at three o'clock. It still looked near perfect at 10. I probably could have done a touch up at like 8.30 after dinner and dessert and all that stuff. But it, I mean, it still looked really good. I am a convert to this. This is the only shade that I own, but I will definitely be purchasing more shades. I also love that this isn't like crazy town expensive like some other green lipsticks are and you can get it on amazon prime so yes the other lip product that super blew me away this year are the rms wild with desire lipsticks and lip liner now i have the daytime nude lip liner i think there's only two shades there might be three and it is amazing it's like literally matches my lips so well and I have no idea where it is, but I have two shades of the lipsticks. I have Pretty Vacant, which I used in my last video, which is a get ready with me. And then this, which is RMS Red, which is the perfect, perfect, 
perfect red if you love an orange red so it's definitely not a true red it's an orange red they do also have a true red if that is more of your jam if you're a cool toned kind of a gal or a neutral red gal but if you are a orange red gal rms red is your jam um these are so pigmented they are matte um, they don't feel matte on the skin. You do need to use a lip liner or a lip brush around the edges. They don't bleed, but they, um, you do have to be careful in applying them around the edges. So new foundation product of the year for me that I've been love, love, loving, um, which you probably will also guess is the Marie Veronique Everyday Coverage Tinted Sunscreen. So only downside of this is it only comes in three shades. This has like the coolest, almost like mousse-like feel on the skin. Um, I love to mix this with a drop of Gressa, as you saw in my last Get Ready With Me. I also love it plain in the summer. It's like a perfect uh, light coverage tinted moisturizer. It's not sheer, which I don't do a sheer tinted moisturizer. Um, it does have a little bit of coverage, but that's why I mix the Gressa with it if I do want a little bit more. One thing to warn you guys about this though is if you're very sensitive to scents, this does have an herbal scent, but for whatever reason, I can handle it and it dissipates on me. Lastly for makeup is, again, you'll probably guess this, Glossier Boy Brow. Um, what can I say about this that you don't already know? If you didn't watch my last video, I guess I'll give it a little just spiel. Um, yes, this is not the cleanest product, however, because it's going on such a small amount of area on my face, I don't mind. And I haven't found anything that performs as well as this in making your brows look more realistic if you don't have a lot of brow hair, which I don't, and kind of like 3D and not just like a drawn or painted on look. Um, it's also really affordable. I'm a huge fan of this. I, yeah, it's definitely a standout for me of the year. Let's move on to hair, my favorite category. No surprise again, Beauty Counter Daily Shampoo. Now, in my Beauty Counter review video, I talked about the Volume Shampoo, which the scent on that is delicious, but didn't really give me any volume. However, the Daily Shampoo does give me a lot more body to my hair. I've never thought that a shampoo would really make my hair look any different. I was wrong. This is not cheap. However, this bottle lasts me six months. So I've been using this for a year and I'm on my third bottle, like starting my third bottle. So it lasts five to six months. And I do shampoo my hair probably four times a week. So I'm not one of those girls who goes a week <laughs> at a time without shampooing. Like I use my shampoo. Lastly, I found an alternative. Now I haven't used that this that many times because I apparently bought a defective bottle that leaks. Uh, but it's the Andalou Naturals Sunflower and Citrus Hairspray. So if you're looking for a hairspray for all hair types for like setting your style and you are looking for something affordable, check this out. It's at like Whole Foods and that kind of stuff. And I want to say it was like seven to ten dollars and it does work quite well. So for the home, I have to give a mention to this because it has replaced almost all of my cleaning products. It is the Branch Basics Concentrate. So you get this concentrate bottle and you get a bunch of different spray bottles and it tells you like fill up to here with water, fill up to here with the concentrate. You can use it for hand soap, you can use it as bathroom cleaner, all purpose cleaner, laundry detergent. I don't use it for laundry detergent, but I use it for all those other things. It is fantastic. It is has no scent. It's super clean and it works really well. So what really sold me on this product is how well it cleans food off of my daughter's high chair, which is, if you have kids, you know that's a struggle. All right, so for food, I have to talk about this Fourth and Heart Vanilla Ghee. If you guys haven't tried it, you're missing out, <laughs> unless you don't do uh, ghee. So, Ghee is clarified butter, which means that it's been slowly cooked, allowing the water to evaporate, um, which leaves this like multi-purpose cooking oil. And I'm literally reading that off of here. So this one is infused with vanilla beans and it smells like, like a small town candy shop. Um, 
that's making like caramel or something. It smells so good. This is so good on like baked apples. Like it's good in oatmeal. It's good in smoothies. Um, it's a great healthy source of fat if you're trying to get more fats in your diet and say maybe less um, unhealthy carbs because I guess that'll lead me to my second thing, which was this year I was really determined to actually lose the rest of my baby weight, which I had been really, 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 really struggling with. Um, it took me 15 months, somewhere around there, and I didn't gain that much. So um, yeah, it was really hard for me. And being someone who has a master's in nutrition, I'm like, I'm doing everything right. Why isn't this working? I work out all the time. Um, so here's something for, this is like a metaphor for other things, right? This isn't really just about losing weight. If you think you're doing everything right and you're not getting results, you might not be doing everything right. Um, so one thing I did is I started tracking exactly what I was eating and it like blew my mind. I was like, wow. I didn't know I was eating that much during the day. And so that's when I was like, yeah, I'm eating healthy food, but I'm eating like truly an excessive amount of carbs. So I decided to play with my macronutrient ratios. So I did low carb, high fat, not nearly as strict as keto. That does not work for me because I like food, but I've been doing that um, since... I think June 3rd and it works so well for me not only did it help me lose the weight that I wanted to lose like honestly easily but it also helps me feel really good feel really full of energy um, not like bloated or heavier weighed down I get to eat my delicious chocolate fat bombs. So if you guys haven't had my fat bombs yet, I'll link that video down below. They are truly divine. Um, my friend Becca from Organically Becca actually made them in like little cups and then she sprinkled like coarse sea salt on top of them. And I was like, how did I not think of that? So gotta check those out. Okay, talking about fitness and feeling good in your body, um, I have to mention foundation training. So there is a book that goes along with it. I'll mention in the book section, but foundation training is basically like learning to use your body correctly, which none of us do in the Western world really, unless we're trying to. I will link my foundation trainer down below. Her name is Kate. She is fantastic. And it has helped me so much with actual pain, like pain from lifting my child, a lot carrying her around um, I don't have the greatest knees so helped with knee pain um, it also helps you get deeper into your muscles if you do it before you work out so that you get like a better workout which if you're gonna work out why would you not want the most effective workout I know I do um, speaking of working out this year I did a lot more hit than I've ever done I've never really been a fan of hit um, for a few reasons, one being that my adrenals couldn't handle it, but they could this year. And I really wanted, again, I really wanted something effective in, in short bursts. And so I was doing like hit like two to three times a week, which I have since scaled back because like I said, I have bad knees. Now I do low impact hit, so I don't do any jumping. You guys know that bar has usually been my go-to. Hit really surpassed it this year, although uh, for 2019, I'm gonna have to switch things up again, take care of my joints a little bit more. I really wanna stay flexible so that as I age, I don't age, if that makes sense. Um, I heard on a podcast, and this was not a health podcast, so I don't even know if this is true. I didn't even look it up, but it sounds good, so I, I'm deciding it's true. That like the clinical definition of aging is actually how flexible you are I don't know if you actually know if that's true let me know down below but it makes sense here's the thing my grandma is 86 years old she's incredibly active so i would love to be 86 years old and still be taking walks and doing yoga and feeling good in my body so even though i don't love yoga i'm gonna make myself do it 
So this is where we're gonna have a little crossover because I've never actually shared my favorite YouTubers. And I have so many YouTubers that I've watched throughout the years, many that I enjoy, but I just wanna tell you guys the ones that have been my go-tos or that like when I see them upload a new video, I'm like, oh, have to watch it right away. So for fitness, I've really been doing a lot of Love Sweat Fitness. I love her HIIT workouts. They are usually around five minutes long and then you're supposed to repeat that cycle four times. Again, I modify the jumping. And then I love Action Jacqueline. She has really great um, hit and bar workouts. I love any ones that she does with a resistance band. So those have been my go-to YouTubers for fitness. Still love Tone It Up. I've been really getting into pelvic floor health, pelvic health, because as you guys know, um, as I've said seven times in this video, <laughs> I have a child. And I think that pretty much if you've had a baby, you probably have something happening to your pelvic floor that you may not love or you may not like want to acknowledge is happening. Um, I did go to pelvic floor physical therapy this year, which was very interesting. But I have to say the most helpful thing for me has been this YouTube channel called, I always get it wrong, so I'm gonna look at what I wrote down, Fem Fusion Fitness. So she's a doctor of physical therapy, women's health physical therapy, and she does all pelvic floor safe workouts and then also tips depending on whatever you might be having troubles with. The thing that I really love is her ab workouts because I have to modify pretty much every ab workout unless it is specifically pelvic floor safe or that person has had a baby. I also love her because she's like so bubbly and so very into what she's doing. So if you've had a child or even if you haven't had a child and you have any like pelvic pain or dysfunction or like something doesn't feel right down there, like check her out. She is amazing. So the other YouTubers that I've been loving this year are uh, Sam Ozkaral. So I watched her years and years and years ago when she was mostly doing like lifting videos and fat loss videos. And I found her again this year and she's the most positive, uplifting, um, healthy mindset person ever. And when I watch her videos, like I just, they make me feel really good because she is so positive and she gives such great tips for having a positive mindset. She also does fitness and wellness and stuff like that too, but um, I just really appreciate her positivity. The other person that I've been loving again, and she is an OG, I actually, like I've always, always known who she was, but I've never really watched her videos until this year, which is Tiffany D. She is someone, again, who's just like fun and upbeat and, I watch her more for entertainment, but I love her personality and I love her, yeah, just like, I just love watching her. She makes me feel really happy too. The other mom, but also a business channel is Haley Page, although I think her channel has changed names to Hello Johnson Family, but she has a lot of great um, mom videos. So I've really been loving this new direction she's taking her channel with sharing more, making money online as a stay-at-home mom type videos, because obviously that's something that I am very interested in, is being able to continue to stay home with my child and also be able to use my talents and skills and knowledge to bring income in for my family. All right, so let's talk about books. I have um, a couple of books that I read this year or listened to. I've been doing a lot more audible than reading, but you know, it's just the stage of life that I'm in. If you are looking for a biblical take on how to use your mind correctly and positively is The Mind Connection by, by Joyce Meyer. She does have a couple of podcasts and I think it's literally just called like the power of the mind or something. Um, you could certainly start with those. They were amazing. Um, but the book is also amazing. And if you read one thing this year, that would be what I would tell you to read. The other sort of like mind book that I really loved and I actually didn't realize I'd been doing this before I read the book is A Miracle Morning. And it basically teaches you how to if you have an hour, who has an hour? I don't. Um, 
anywhere from five minutes to an hour to set yourself up for having a great day with a great mindset. Super great. Jen Sincero, is that how you say your name? You are a badass. Love that book as well. And that's just more about, I mean, the title tells it all. You're a badass, like claiming your power and changing your mindset about the things that you really can do and the things you want to do. The foundation training book, which is true to form, highly would recommend that. I also would recommend just doing some of the workouts on their YouTube channel. One is called like 12 minutes pain-free workout or something. Really great place to start with foundation training. Otherwise, true to form is great if you want a book version. The first half is like explaining it, background, way we use our bodies, stuff like that. And then the second half is the moves and then um, pairing the moves together. Lastly, podcast, a couple of mom related ones, of course. Uh, the first being The Purpose Show and Coffee and Crumbs. When those both have new episodes, I click on them immediately. I love them so much. I particularly like the This Is How We Do episodes of Coffee and Crumbs. It's three women basically sharing how they do blank in their house, how they do back to school, how they do interior design, stuff like that. So it's really cool to get different takes. I actually would love, um, I'm just gonna like put this out in the universe. Someday I would love to have a podcast for um, stay at home mom happiness and mindset. And I don't wanna do it alone. I wanna do it as a group, kinda of like how the Coffee and Crumbs girls do it. I really enjoy that. I also have been getting into the Life Coach School podcast with Brooke Castillo because my sister-in-law actually went, is in the Life Coach School training program right now. So I've been getting into her podcast. I've also been getting into The Brendan Show with Brendan Burchard. I read his book this year, The Charge, and I actually asked for his planner for Christmas, which is this one, the High Performance Planner. He has like a ton of books. He's so great about performance and mindset and uh, productivity and stuff like that. The last one I wanna mention is really specific to making decisions. Um, if you're someone who struggles with making decisions, I do. I took the Enneagram this year and it really, made me realize that I don't struggle with decisions because it's something wrong with me. It's my personality, I'm a six. And so I think through every scenario 17 times <laughs> or more, and that's why it's hard for me to make a decision. So this podcast, The Next Right Thing, is so good to basically help you like quiet yourself um, and trust God to help you with your next right thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, we reached the end. We did all eight categories. So if you made it this long, thank you so much. You deserve a mega gold star. Please make sure you're on my email list because I am sending out emails more often than I am making videos. If you wanna stay in touch, of course, Instagram at Laura's Natural Life is also great too. So anyways, thank you guys again for another wonderful year of friendship. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to let me know what all of your favorites for each of the categories are in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video or via email.